Health officials are warning the mosquito season could be the worst one in years, and it's all thanks to this winter's rains. Well, now some crews in California, including here in our region, are using drones to battle those pesky insects and the diseases they often spread. That's the sound of the latest technology being used in the battle to control the mosquito population. Officials say the recent wet winter has led to a huge spike in mosquitoes up and down the state. There's a lot of groundwater moving around, uh, uh, flood water or whatnot. Uh, that are that's just sitting underground, it's producing a ton of mosquitoes. Almost every single marsh pond is full of water. Um, that is due to the rain, the amount of rain we had this season. Mosquitoes lay their eggs in standing water, which then hatch larvae. And experts say once mosquitoes are adults, they're difficult to control. The traditional ways to control them usually involve spraying, using backpacks, vehicles, airplanes, and helicopters. But officials say the use of drones, which won't deploy in residential neighborhoods, are more effective in hard-to-reach rural areas. So how does this new treatment work? The mosquito larvae are filter feeders, so they feed on the bacteria. It enters their gut, and it's a growth regular. So essentially, if you guys have seen the movie Alien, it blows their stomach up. Officials trying to get ahead by being proactive in their efforts to combat a larger than expected mosquito population. You're not going to win the war against mosquitoes, but you can gain some ground. And with technology, advancements in technology, we're seeing uh, gaining ground. Yeah, whatever we can do to get rid of those bugs. In our region, the Sacramento Yolo Mosquito and Vector Control District has been using this type of technology for a few years now. And they tell us their anti-mosquito treatment covers wetlands, pastures, farmland. They're also using a new high-tech machine that can identify different species of mosquitoes, including the ones that carry the West Nile virus. Yeah, just watching that video, doesn't it just make you want to... Mm, I know. You know? Itch. Itch. Scratch. Scratch. Uh, I got some good news, though, uh, when it comes to mosquitoes and the high heat. I'm working on an answers desk on this. Uh, excessive heat actually kills off some mosquitoes. It's too hot oh. for them sometimes. So that's that's the upside. So we need that then. The next few yeah. days, anyway. I, yeah, I did, I did not know that. That's yeah. that's a good thing, you know. <laughs> right. Because uh, I don't think there's any use for mosquitoes no. at all. You know, exactly. So 